mentalhealth.com. And I'm going to give you two good exercises to tone your legs up and tone those glutes up. Real simple exercises. It's great, it's easy, and there's different options that you can do. So today I'm going to show you walking lunges. I'm going to show you band, rubber band body squats, right? All right, so let's go. All right, so first I'm going to show you the dumbbell walking lunge, but I'm going to show it to you without any dumbbells. I'm going to show you with just your hands if you don't have any resistance, if you don't have a, a weight, if you don't have a medicine ball, how to regularly do the walking lunge. And especially I want to show you how to get the right form. So you're going to stand up right, you're going to start leaning with one foot, and you want your heel to come down first. And what I like to do is the opposite leg, have it lightly touch the ground, repeat. Now notice my back is straight, my head is up, simple lunge, right? Now I'm going to show you something I see all the time, something I hate, this is the form I hate to sit. They come forward and then they start leaning forward like this. Do not do that, I hate that so much. It's not gonna be any benefit to you if you do it that way. What you wanna do is do your lunge, keep your torso straight up, come down, all the way through. Now that's a walking lunge without any weight. Now I'm gonna show it to you if you do have dumbbells. So now we're gonna do the same exact form, but now we have a little ab resistance. I'm using 15 pound dumbbells. Now I don't care if it's 15 pounds or 80 pounds, you're gonna still use the same form, right? Weight to the side, foot out, heel touches down. My torso is straight up, my head is straight, and there we go. That is your walking lunge. Now, on the side note, if you decide to do what they call is a stretch lunge, which is a longer lunge, you're gonna emphasize your glutes a little more. This is what a stretch lunge looks like. I'm taking a bigger step. So it's emphasizing my glutes a little bit more. You know, if I do a regular lunge, which is fine, it's gonna emphasize more my quads, just so you know that, right? And that is walking lunges. You can try it out. Now, if you don't have a gym, if you don't have a walkway, you can simply do a standing lunge, which means you take one step, and instead of going forward, you're coming up and down, right? Living room, kitchen, Bedroom anyway. Do 20 reps on one leg. Do the next one. 20 reps. So even if you don't have a long way to walk, if you can't get to a gym, so if you're coming up, you can still do this exercise. I'm gonna show you this rubber band squat. It's pretty simple now. If I just take it without the rubber band and do a regular body squat, it's the same thing. Slide your hips back, keep your chest up. There's my regular body squat, right? Boom. Now, what I'm doing with the rubber band is adding resistance. With the rubber band, you want to make sure you step in between and you make sure you have the same equal distance on each side of you. You want your palms facing out like this. And you're going to do the same exact squat. But now you have resistance, right? Boom. That's what you're doing. You're going to feel the resistance, right? Now, you want to take it one step further and work out these shoulders. Make it a little bit more of a full body exercise, you're going to do this. Boom, up. So now you're involved in almost every part of your body. And that'll be a full part, full body exercise right there. So those are two movements. This is very cheap. Maybe five, I'm saying 10 bucks. You can go to Walmart, go to Target, get a nice little rubber band. Like I said, if you don't have a gym membership, if you can't get to a gym, if you're stuck in the house because of the storm, you can do this in your house. No excuses. Let's go.